What does it take to reach the pinnacle of sport? In a 1v1 matchup against the best of the best, physical skills, mental warfare, the smooth nature of a route, the ferocity of a ball hawk, the winner more times than not, a six foot three, 220 pound specimen with the smoothness of a standard bread. His name? There isn't an excuse. Julio! To argue about the greatness Jones! of Julio Jones. Julio! Antonio Brown is not even the best receiver in the NFL. Jones! That distinction belongs to Julio Jones. Julio Jones! Good luck trying to stop that. Our journey begins in Foley, Alabama, roughly 20 minutes from the Gulf of Mexico, population 15,000. It's kind of wild, Jones said of his neighborhood. It's not a big city, but the place that I grew up in, it's a small town. There was crime and drugs. He would go on the record stating violence and drug dealers were the norm. Jones's hometown is listed as one of the more dangerous places in the state. Luckily for Julio, his mother was the ultimate guide. She kept me out of all of that. I just stayed active. I had to gain her trust. When I was young, I had to be in the house before the street lights came on. Her name, Queen Marvin, a hardworking family before everything parent who sacrificed countless hours, working multiple jobs at fast food restaurants to supply for her kids. At just five years old, Julio saw his parents divorce and made a promise he would never break. She recalls, he told me on the day his daddy left that it was all going to be okay. He said, all you do is work, work, work. He told me he'd buy me the house I never had, the car I never had, and that I wouldn't have to work no more. Just when Julio, real name Quintoris Lopez Jones, was making a name for himself, hardship struck his brother. A follow-up now to breaking news we first talked about last night on Fox 10 News at 9. Gulf Shores police say Philip Jones, the brother of Atlanta Falcons receiver and former Alabama standout Julio Jones, was shot last night. Gulf Shores police were canvassing an area off Fort Morgan Road last night where they say George Sutton shot Philip Jones in the arm. Philip Jones would have his left hand surgically removed after being the victim of a shotgun wound in May of 2014. Queen Marvin would say, it's been difficult for Philip to deal with. However, you could see what it does for him when Julio makes a run and a catch. It makes him happy and it makes all of us happy. He can feed off the excitement a little bit. The star player who came from humble beginnings began his football journey at 12 years old, playing running back and corner. In middle school, he would bench maximum 95 pounds. In high school, he would grow from five foot nine and skyrocket to six foot three in a few months. His team was atrocious, inheriting a program that experienced zero wins the prior season. By his senior year, Julio benched 355 pounds. The team went 12 and one, and Jones led Foley High to its one and only state championship. The legend of Quintoris did not stop there. Over in Mobile, a budding basketball star named Demarcus Cousins was the talk of the town. The mild-mannered Jones didn't really like the hype. He just wanted to compete, be him, and didn't want the limelight. That was until one fateful night when the two Alabama standouts faced off on the hardwood. Whoa, and an NBA Jones was the number one wide receiver in the country, a two-time All-State selection, an All-American named Mr. Football of Alabama, and won five titles in high school track and field. I'm going to make my decision by where I feel the most comfortable and where I feel like home at. So I'm going to be going to the University of Alabama. <laughs> At the University of Alabama, the Julio effect was real. Holding school records for receptions, receiving yards, and single game receiving yards to go along with a national championship under Nick Saban. Surpassing his junior year and entering the draft, the Atlanta Falcons, fresh off a disappointing divisional round exit in the playoffs, traded away five picks to the Cleveland Browns and received one in return, the number six overall selection. The Atlanta Falcons select Julio Jones. It's a blessing out of the sky, his mother would say. During the games, he's calm, laid back, doesn't get too excited. That's just who he is, former teammate Eric Weems would attest. With a calm demeanor, Jones has transcended the wide receiver position and the Atlanta Falcons offense. His impact is felt every Sunday, from the 70,000 in attendance to the 17,000, all the way back in Foley, Alabama. If you made it to the end of this video, Mazel tov. If you want to see more, hit the bell and hit subscribe. Why don't you?